Shalom. Today we're continuing in the series of understanding the Hebrew verb structure. Remember that the verb conjugation tells us the tense, the person, and the binyan. We are working on the participle tense, which we would consider in English to be the present tense, and it has these meanings. I do, I am doing, I have been doing, or I am the person, the one who does. In your binyan chart, we have shown that these five binyanim that are highlighted in gold, in the participle form, they all begin with mem. We have done the pl and the hifil, and we have done the pu'al and the hofal. Today we will cover the hitpa'el, which also will begin with mem in the participle. Remember there are four forms in the participle, a masculine singular, a feminine singular, a masculine plural, and a feminine plural. The name of the binyan is hitpa'el, and it is a reflexive binyan. You will not see this uh, reflexive concept in every verb, but you will see it in some. We're going to start with the verb halach, which ordinarily means to go or to walk. In the biblical sense, uh, very often it's used with the person who is walking with God. In a modern use, it means to stroll. So the four forms that we see are mit halech for the masculine singular, mit halechet, a normal feminine ending that we would expect, mit halechim and mit halechot, you can recognize these endings. The tav is part of the binyan hit pa'el. It will appear in all the tenses. You will always have a tav. Again, we have just a very few examples to draw on from scripture. Um, there's 139 participle hit pa'el, so uh, we might see what's available right here. In Genesis 3:8, Vayishma'u et kol Yehovah Elohim mit halech bagan l'ruach hayom. And they heard the voice of Yehovah God mit halech bagan. He was walking, he was strolling in the garden during the breeze of the day. The next verb also, v'yit chabe, is in, uh, is in hit pa'el, it's a future form, and they hid themselves. And in this, we can really see the concept of it being reflexive. It's something they did for themselves. In Ezekiel 1, 13, we have the feminine form, v'dumut ha'chayot mar'ehem k'gacha le'esh bo'arot k'mar'e alapidim. So it appears that what is going between the living creatures is the form, the demut of the living creatures, um, and that would be a feminine noun. We see the feminine form of the verb, mitalechet, in Exodus 6.27, talking about a blessing to the young men who are, it's translated as following my Lord, they are strolling, walking with their feet. Mit halachim beragle. We don't have a lot of choices for finding some irregular verbs in this binyan. There is a special rule that we're going to talk about. And as it happens, the verb that we're going to use ends in ayin. So we will see the normal ayin endings plus the special rule. The special rule for hitpa'el is for roots that begin with sounds that are sibilants. This would be shin, sin, samich, tzadi, or zayin. And what happens with those is that the sibilant sound changes place with the tav that's always in the hitpa'el. So let's have a look and see what that means. So we've seen this root before, um, shaga to, to be crazy, it appears in the hitpa'el, but we see when we look at the male, masculine form, it's mishtageya. It's not mit shageya. So the shin and the tav change places. We see that because of the ayin, we have the extra vowel at the end, mishtageya. The feminine form also takes the two patachs, mishtaga'at, mishtaga'im, and mishtaga'ot. You make me crazy. And we see this, an example, in 1 Samuel 21, 14. 
Hine tir u ish mishtagea, lama tavi oto elai. And Achish, uh, this is when David is drawing the little uh, markings, the symbols, the tabs on the doorpost, and letting the spit drool down his beard. And Achish, the king, says to his servants, Look, this guy is nuts. Why are you bringing him to me? An example with a samach is a satar, which means to hide in the reflexive form, the hitpa'el form. It means to hide oneself. And again, it, it's a little confusing to see. We have to remember that one tav is part of the root. So mistater. The samech comes first, it switches place with the places with the tav of the hitpa'el. The second tav is the tav of the root. But otherwise, it conjugates perfectly regularly. Mistater, mistateret, mistaterim, mistatrot. Here is an example. Uh, also, David is hiding in Psalm 54.1. And the zifim come to Shaul and they say, hello, hello. Isn't it true? David, Mr. Ter Imanu, David is hiding among us. There are some other rules for when the verb begins with Tsadi or Zion, but very, very few examples, and none of them are in the participle, so we'll leave that for another time. So, short lesson on Hitpa'el today. Remember always, Tasimit Ha'inayim Al Hashemayim, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.